All right, welcome everybody. We are going to do something a little bit different here, something we've never done on the channel before, and that's a couple of pack openings. I've got a, kind of a whole like random lot of booster packs that I've picked up just over the couple of months here. Wanted to go ahead and see if we can take a look, see if we find anything good. As you can see, we have a Harry Potter Diagon Alley booster pack with a ran random assortment of cards. I've also got some Magic the Gathering for today. The Akora Red Theme Booster. I've always been a huge fan of the Red Theme decks. Especially Goblins. I tend to stick with the Goblins the most whenever I used to play. It's been a long time since I've played though, so I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking for. We will kind of take a look and see what we get though. We have a Caldium Booster Pack. I think we have a couple of those and then of course Zendikar Rising and a, two more that I picked up today just for this let me get them out and it's gonna be some new Strickhaven So we'll go ahead and open these up and see what we get. We'll start with something that not a lot of people are super familiar with when it comes to trading cards, and we'll actually start with the Harry Potter. So let me move these out of the way, and we'll take a look. Now these are interesting packs. They were from, I believe, 2001. So let's see what we got. I've always had the worst luck opening these. Let's see if we can get it open. All right, there we go. So we have some Harry Potter cards here. Now there's a lot of like character cards that are hollow foils that we are kind of on the lookout for. They're not really 100 that valuable. They're not worth too much. But they are still some pretty cool cards with some pretty cool artwork on the back there. So we got Butterfly Weed Balm. A Swelling Potion. Oh, let's see if we can get the camera to focus just a little bit. There we go. A little bit better on the autofocus. Oh, we got our first little beast card there. Let's see if I can get this to focus for us. So we've got the River Troll. Like I said, I've always liked these cards just because they have some pretty cool art. I've had this pack laying around for quite some time. I've never really decided to open it though. Picking on Neville. Neville has to be one of my favorite characters for Harry Potter. He's kind of like the, oh, what, oh, what was his name? Kind of like the person that everybody was like, oh, he's never gonna really amount to much. He's kind of just a side character, comic relief. And by the end of it, he turned out to be one of the more common allies of the group. I have to say though, the Wizard of the Coast artwork on these is really nice. Got some nice illustrations going. Got our second little beast here, a little Screech Owl. Don't know if I can get this camera to focus any better. Let's see, maybe if I adjust the lighting a little bit here. Bear with me. That's the first time getting this set up. That's what I'm doing on a pack that not everybody is super excited for. Oh, 
There we go. Now we can get a little bit better of a picture. So there's the screech owl. We've got our dog bane potion. The standard energy style card there. These are the lesson cards from the game. It's actually a pretty fun game. I used to play it a lot as a kid. So we have potions and we have care for magical creatures. We also have a creature I've never seen personally, and that's the Quinnipede. Really cool looking artwork there. Close you, which is a spell card of some sort. Look at your opponent's hand. If there's any item cards there, choose one of them and discard it. Pretty cool little spell. Oh, and our character card that came in this one, Grip Hook. Let's see if we can get it to focus on that. There we go. It's not a holographic, but it is one of the more rare cards there. So again, pretty cool little set. That was a nice way to kind of get the lighting set up for this. I'm not super, like, huge into collecting the Harry Potter ones. But it was nice. I had it for a long time. I wanted to open it up. Let's go ahead and take a look at Strictaven. If we can get into it. I always have the worst time with this. I just need to bring a pair of scissors over here. Try not to rip it up too bad though. There we go. Strict Haven Art, School of Mages, pretty cool little setup. This is one of the newer sets, just came out, if you guys are not super familiar with Magic the Gathering. So let's see what we got. Maybe, if I can get these opened up. All right. The Biomathematician. Moldering Karak. Campus Guide, Magic Hunter Onslaught, Study Break, Curate, Dragon Approach, Mage Duel, Essence Infusion, Introduction to Prophecy, this has to be a pretty cool art, I like this one, Fortifying Draw, Secret Rendezvous, Creative Outburst, Baldur's Wither Bloom. Gr 
growth spiral. Pretty interesting card. I like the whole design behind it. And of course we got a spirit token creature. Not too bad for the first little set there. I don't think we'll open all of these packs today. I want to keep this video rather short while I get everything set up. But we'll open a couple more. We'll get the other Strict Haven open. I also got quite a bit of Pokemon cards that hopefully I can get a video on shortly. As well as a few G Digimon boosters that I've collected over the years. Decided it's about time to open it up. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. You can always let me know. Like, subscribe, comment, all the fun stuff that we do here on YouTube. I do like these pack arts, though. Oh, well, that one pretty much ripped all the way down the middle. Oh, let's see if we can get this to focus. Another moldering croc. Lorehold Campus. Owlin's Shield Mage. I've always liked the art on this. I really want to see if I could find my old 4th and 5th edition sets. I'm not sure if I still have access to them though. Excavated Wall, Mage Hunter's Onslaught, Study Break, another Curate. Seems like we're getting a few repeats there. Dragon's Approach, Mage Duel, Environmental Science. Funny enough, that's my actual major in school currently secret ro secret rendezvous a creative outburst snow day i remember getting those i live in the desert we don't get those often so when we did it was always a fun experience hall of oracles Oh, that's a pretty cool looking land card. Trying to see if I can get the picture to focus a little bit for you guys. Compulsive Research. Such an interesting card. I like this layout, the whole full art style. If you want to call it that. Not sure how you would consider this. What do you guys think? An inkling. Pretty cool little creature. I do have sleeves for these, I just didn't get them available tonight, so unless I get something super crazy rare, I will sleeve these up after I post the episode. I'm really interested in this. I heard a lot of things about these booster building decks. I know most of it is energy cards. I think, what, you get 15 energy cards or something like that. Uh, 25 land cards, and then the rest are just random cards, including at least one rare or one mythic card. Not too bad. Like I said, red's my favorite. What do you what is your guys? Do you enjoy land, death? I will take
take a look at the land cards because those are always pretty cool, but I'm not really worried too much about those. If I can get this open. I don't want to rip the art. At least to try not to. But whenever it comes to these cards, I'm literally as clumsy as a monkey. Or a bull in a china shop, however you want to look at it. I've never bent the cards or ripped the cards open, but I've always destroyed the packaging. Usually I use scissors. So, if you've never opened one of these, it comes in a nice little wrapper as well. Now a good portion of these are going to be lands, so bear with me as I kind of sort through them here. Maybe if I can get my camera to focus again. Adaptive Shimmer. It's a insect creature. Hmm, not sure if that belongs in a fire deck too much. I know it's kind of mana neutral. Momentum Rambler. Or Rumbler. Well, one of these days I'll be able to read these. Sanctuary Smasher. A Rhino Beast. Interesting. Heightened Reflex. Footfall Crater. Weaponize the Monsters. Indeed. A Porky Parrot. This kind of reminds me of a game that I played a long time ago called Impossible Creatures, where you kind of get to mix the DNA of different creatures together to create something special. Cloud Piercer. This is a nice looking card. Looks like we got a second one. Rumbling Rock Slide. Frenzied Raptor. I was hoping for some more goblins. Goblins have to be my favorite deck to kind of go with. I know they're not very good, but they have that quick attack, and you can get a lot of damage in at the beginning. Clash of Titans. Forbidden Friendship. My camera does not do this art justice. Blazing Volley. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. Look at that art though. Flame Spill. Spell Eater Wolverine. See, I can see that going in a goblin deck. Just by the looks of it. I haven't played Magic in a while. I probably couldn't build a deck anymore to save my life. Cathartic Reunion. Another Rumbling Rock Slide. Tentative Connection, another Blitz of the Thunder Raptor, Spell Eater Wolverine, Fire Prophecy, deal 3 damage to target creature. You may put a card from your hand on the bottom of your library if you do draw a card. Reptilian Reflexes. Frenzied Raptor. Another dinosaur beast there. Lava Serpent. A Prickly Marmoset.
Rutin Moloch. Forbidden Friendship. Raging Claws. Catholic Union. Go for Blood. Dranus Stinger. Shredded Sails. And Lurty the Spell Chaser. This is a interesting card. I like the split fire water aspect of it there. An elemental otter. What do you guys think? And of course, since this is my first pack opening, definitely let me know if you have any feedback, critiques for any of these. Or if there's any cards you want me to open up on the channel. I'll see if I can come across them. Cards these days are really hard to come by. But I think I'll leave it at that for tonight. Thank you guys for joining. And of course, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want or looking for. What's your favorite pool? If you play Magic, what's your favorite deck type? All the fun stuff. Have a good night.